Good morning, students. We're going to be starting Module 7, Dimensioning, right now. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the assignments and talk a little bit about uh, what you should be looking forward to in terms of this topic and give you some ideas for how you should approach it. So let's get started. Um, module 7, Dimensioning, is right here. So I'll open this up. And you'll see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six dimensioning drawings in here. Now, don't worry, uh, five of these six you have already drawn, okay? So, of these first five, you've already drawn the geometry, you've already made the orthographic views. So, the only thing you'll have to do, other than correct them if there are any errors in them, is to add the dimensions. The last drawing here, <coughs> Uh, is the one that you're going to start from scratch, so you're going to draw it and dimensioning. But let's look at the assignments um, a little bit more carefully here. So I'll open up the dimensioning assignments page. Um, first of all, the reading for this uh, book, uh, excuse me, the reading for this topic is chapter 8, Basic Dimensioning in your textbook. It's an excellent chapter. Again, it provides a lot of examples, so you should definitely use that as a ready ref ref uh, reference and resource, okay? So don't forget about that. In addition, I will be providing two PowerPoint presentations to you. One is going to be a PowerPoint of Chapter 8, and the other is going to be a little bit more of a look at the way to dimension, okay? So there'll be two PowerPoints that I'll give you, and those will be uploaded in the uh, module on Canvas as well, okay? Um, so uh, then we can get into the drawing assignment. So here's the six drawing assignments, um, and we'll look at each one of these uh, right now. Um, but before we get started, first of all, I do want to add each of the previously created CAD drawings must be corrected, okay? So if there's uncorrected geometry errors or whatever kind of errors there are in that, things that I made note of, uh, things that you've since learned that are wrong or bad to do, uh, you must correct those or else you'll lose points on those again, okay? Um, I want you to make sure you follow the CAD department standards for all your drawing, and we'll be talking a little bit more about that um, as, as we go on. And then here's the six assignments, okay? So the first assignment is the cradle support, and let me click on this one and open this up. And you can see this is from uh, module four. So this is the cradle support that was originally CAD exercise 4.2. Correct any errors. You're responsible for fixing any mistakes from the earlier submission, all right? And then there's instructions on how to dimension or how to apply dimensions. I won't be going into this now because it won't make much sense until I actually go through um, some examples of dimensioning. All right, and then you're gonna submit it as you normally do. All right, let's go back. Exercise 7.2 is the hinge fixture. This is also from module four, okay? Uh, this is also one that you've already uh, completed from the, uh, of, of the views, of the orthographic views, and now you're just going to add the dimensioning to it. The shaft support. This is from module five, okay? So this is a drawing with auxiliary views or an auxiliary view that you've, that you've already created. Um, so correct any errors with this one and then apply the dimensions. The shaft base is from this latest module uh, of section views, module six, right? And it's the full section drawing, the, the first drawing in that set. All right, so you're gonna be correcting that and then adding dimensions to that. Then we move on to CAD exercise 7.5, the flange support. This is also from module six, and this is the aligned section drawing. I think most of you got this one correctly, uh, drawn correctly, so, or there were a minimal number of errors in it. Um, I think this is one that I did an example of, so that definitely helped, all right. And then finally, the one that you're going to be drawing from scratch is the adjustable locking plate. And that's, uh, let's, let's look at that. All right. This is a single view drawing. Okay. So it's only one 
orthographic view of the adjustable locking plate on page 224. Okay, so when you look in your book on page 224, you will see that this is a, um, a more or less a, f a flat object. So um, I, I want, you know, make sure that I, I put a note in here, the thickness of the, of the part should be dimensioned in a note. Okay, so this is a uniform thickness part. Um, so you're only going to have one single view orthographic uh, view, and then the, the thickness is going to be noted. All right, and you're going to draw that and apply dimensions to it. Okay, so those are the six drawings. All right, now, in addition, I, I said follow the CAD department standards for all drawings. This is nothing new, but I do want to pull this across here so I can show you where um, the important sections in this. So this is our CAD uh, department standard. Um, and so I think the relevant... Uh, portions that you need to pay attention to start on page 16 and that's where I describe the different types of holes. We have a counter bore hole, a counter sink hole, and a uh, spot faced hole. And what's interesting of note here is that I have um, provided the uh, exact way that you are to dimension these uh, these features. Okay. So, uh, and I'll be giving you examples in AutoCAD of how to do this, but I, you know, th this is how you dimension these. All right. Um, I don't think there's any, I don't think there's any notches or grooves in our, um, drawings, but then we get into on page 18. This is a general dimensioning workflow. Okay. Now I will be going over this in a separate video. Okay. With AutoCAD, but it is here. Uh, for you to reference. This is a bulletproof guide to adding dimensions in AutoCAD using annotative dimensioning, which is what we're going to be using in this class, annotative dimensioning, okay? So you'll note this is an eight-step procedure, um, and it's very important that you follow this because if you don't follow this, then your dimensions are going to uh, get all goofy and, and be very difficult to, to work with. Okay, so here's your eight steps right there. Okay, and like I said, I will go through this with uh, in AutoCAD in a later video. Okay, um, dimensioning common features. This is just some tips for how to dimension common features such as squares and rectangles and circular features and holes and chamfers and arcs and all that good stuff. Okay, um, how dimensions should appear. So here's kind of a guideline or a list of rules for how dimensions should appear. Um, there's some examples. Now we don't do any dual dimensioning in this assignment, so you can ignore this, this part. I don't think there's any extended intersections here. Um, there's some information on symbology that you can use. Uh, again, a lot of this I'll be going over with AutoCAD in a separate video. Some of the symbols. AutoCAD thankfully provides all the ones that we need, so we really don't have to draw the, the symbols. AutoCAD makes them for us, which is uh, really nice. Um, and then converting dimensions. Again, we don't have to do anything here, but dimension notes. All right, so a lot of people ask, like, what notes should I have in a drawing? How should the notes look in a drawing? Well, this is exactly the format, okay? So here's the format for your notes. Uh, we'll have notes, colon, and then one, two, three for first note, second note, third note, and so on. Um, the following notes are to be shown in all mechanical drawings. So here's two notes that you're going to have in all of your drawings, all right? The second note, depending on whether the drawing is in inches or millimeters, you're going to change this note. Um, and then some additional notes, depending on the specific drawing, you may need or want to include some of these notes right here. So, and I give you the exact wording that you need. For a lot of these drawings, there are fillets and rounds. So there's your fillets and rounds notes right there. Um, maybe there's a chamfer. So there's your chamfer note. Uh, we're not doing anything with tolerances. I don't think there's any threads in any of these drawings. So, you know, you, so we're not going to be including all of these drawings just as they as they need to okay 
Um, and then here's some standard abbreviations. Yeah, it sounds weird that they have standard abbreviations, but everything is standardized. This is engineering. So, you know, engineers love to standardize things and make it all the same. So here are some standard abbreviations. You need to use the standard abbreviations if you're using abbreviations. Okay, so make sure you look through this. Um, there's no threads or fasteners in these drawings, so we don't need to go through that. Okay, um, so let's so let's move on. Now down here, after the six CAD exercises are uh, are shown. Um, then it says dimensions must be applied annotatively and refer to the annotated dimensioning workflow. So remember I talked about that in the standard. Well, I also give you a link to a separate sheet outside of the standard that you can use. And here it is. This is our eight step procedure. This is the same as it is defined in the standard. But, you know, obviously some of you may want to print this out because it's on one sheet so that you can easily reference it. So here it is right here. Steps one through eight for uh, foolproof, idiot proof, no problems dimensioning. Okay. Uh, and like I've said already, uh, I will be going through this in an AutoCAD video. All right. Um, and that's it for the assignment. Now, uh, I do want to say a couple things here. Uh, dimensioning is very, very important. Um, a lot of people get the views and, and that's not really the issue. You know, drawing geometry uh, orthographically is something that most people either, you know, uh, figure it out pretty quickly or through practice, they get it down. Dimensioning, however, is something that really needs to be um, thought carefully through um, and it needs to be uh, something that you work with okay it's not something that you're necessarily going to get right off the bat so and there's kind of a strategy a, a I don't want to say philosophy but there's definitely a way to dimension and a mindset and understanding that you have to have of the part for dimensioning and I'll be going through all that okay but I'm I just want to give you the the warning here um, this assignment module 7 is our last two week assignment. Okay, so we have two weeks to work on this. So it's due two weeks from November 1st, uh, this past Sunday. So it's due, it's due two weeks from then. Um, but I, I don't want, uh, I don't want you in class to think that this is a topic that you can start late. Okay. Um, I would encourage you to get started as quickly as you can on this and you can get started right away. All right. You have the textbook. Chapter 8 is what you're going to be reading or studying or referencing. Uh, you don't have to wait for my videos, although I am going to be uploading them uh, today, tonight, and tomorrow. I'm going to try to get those out as, as quickly as I can. Let me say this in terms of strategy, though, and something to help you. And I'll and again, I'll mention this ad nauseum, okay? Um, you all have these drawings, at least drawings 1 through 5, already completed. OK, what you should do, the first thing you should do is you should print out your, what you've already done for drawings one through five. OK, print them out, make print them out and make note of where you've made mistakes, what you need to fix. Um, and when you when you have those corrected, then that's going to be a, a big step in the right direction. OK, after you have the drawings corrected, print them again. OK, print them again, because as we go through with dimensioning, uh, it's I'm, I'm going to reiterate this over and over again. It's very, very helpful to dimension by hand first, not to dimension in AutoCAD. OK, now in the videos that I'm going to do, I'm not going to be able to do that because it's kind of tough for me to dimension by hand. Uh, with the camera and then to switch to AutoCAD. So I'm just going to be dimensioning in AutoCAD to start with, but I will have a sheet in front of me with the dimensions applied by hand from one of my drawings. Okay. So 
Um, so if you're looking to get started on this, if you want to get this so that it's not something that you're doing Sunday night, you know, at, at 11 p.m. Or, or something, if you don't like working like that, nobody does, this is what you do. Go to each one of these drawings that you've already completed and print them. Make notes on what corrections you need to make and then make corrections to them. All right. Once you've made the corrections to them, then print them again and put them aside and wait for, you know, further videos or wait for uh, when you get done studying the chapter. Then you can go to the sixth drawing, the adjustable, the adjusting locking plate, and you can go ahead and get that drawing uh, completed, right? Remember, you have to draw it and then dimension it. So you can get the drawing done for that and have it waited. All right. So there's plenty for you to get done. All right, there's a lot of work to do in this. It sounds like we have two weeks. Sounds like there's a lot of time, but really that time goes quickly. All right, and so uh, I strongly suggest that you get started as quickly as possible. Okay, so uh, that's it for the assignment. In the next video, I'm going to go through a PowerPoint presentation of Chapter 8. It's going to be a long PowerPoint. There was something like 90 slides, so, so I'm apologizing ahead of time. Uh, I'll probably skip over some of the things that we're not really going to be focusing on in this. Uh, and then I'll also have a second PowerPoint presentation about the, the way to dimension. And then after that, I'll have some videos um, that will take you through the steps because I also have to show you how to dimension using AutoCAD. So, you know, you, you need to know two things in this assignment. You need to know how to dimension. And the second thing you need to know is how to dimension using AutoCAD. So those are two kind of separate things. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.